Without further ado, here she is live <laughs> all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so please, please say so hello my to <laughs> <laughs> From her hotel room in Makati. Hello. Please say hello to Katrina Timaranan. Hi, everybody. Hi, Queen. Ayan, ayan. Nakakatawa ka naman. All the coming from where? Makati lang po. <laughs> I was about to say, all the way from Los Angeles City. <laughs> no, dito po. Dito lang ako. Lapit lang siguro natin. Alam mo yun. Pam ka na lang. Yeah. Para may head. Wait, let me, before we begin, can we give a shout out to all the almost 40 viewers who are tuned in right now? Let's try to go over them one by one then, just to say a quick shout out to them. Let's do it. Hi, Sai Gomboa. Oh my God, baby girl, Katrina. Yes, and then. And the, Ayo, no, if you, Ayo. Yeah. Emmanuel Baluwag says, Katrina for the Corona. Have you already thought of your hashtag? I, th I think yes. <laughs> I've been <laughs> using it. I mean, I've only posted one photo, which is the headshot photo. But um, yes, for the most part, thank God for my um, supporters for creating the hashtags for me. <laughs> what's your, sorry, I, I'm not yet aware. What's your hash current? What's your hashtag? So there's um Katrina for the Corona, um um Trina Dahana, um ano pa ba? Laban mga best, Katrina. Laban mga best, yes. Team Katrina, it's and then on my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then someone is who is this guy? Um, Clark Katrina Universe Queen K. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Wow, our viewers are slowly go are increasing while wow. we're reaching oh, almost God. 60 now. So, thank you. <laughs> My ultimate bet and fave says Arj wow, Smith. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Aaron Villa Duca is saying good evening. Thank you guys for tuning in. So, here we go. Ito na. 66 viewers and counting. How do you feel that you are one of the most, you are turning out to be one of the most popular girls in Miss Aww. Universe Philippines right now? Actually, you know, I'm so surprised. I really didn't think I was going to garner this much of support and this much of a fan base for my my return here for Miss Universe Philippines. So, so nakakatuwa. It really, really warms my heart. So, thank you talaga kasi nakakatulong siya, especially, you know, not just for the social media, not that, but just to know that there's people who are supporting you and it helps with your mental health and, you know, to keep you going and feeling. So thank you, Lang. Thank you so much for the support. No, you know what? The pleasure is ours, Talaga. It's so lovely to finally interview you <laughs> virtually. I mean, you just got back here in Manila, and I assume you're currently on quarantine. So how's it been going so far? Yes, I am on day four now. So, mga best, halfway na tayo, and then I am free. But it's been good. I mean, aside from last night, ay yung first night ko, alakas ng ulan, tapos ang lakas pa ng thunder, <laughs> tapos unang tulog ko pa lang, may earthquake agad. <laughs> so, sabi ko, ay, what a welcome. I miss it. <laughs> I forgot na rainy season pala pag July kasi. Oh. <laughs> so, naka-adjust ka na. Focus on training. Yeah. Yeah, while, while you're on quarantine. So, have yeah. you, how is your body clock now? Have you fully adjusted na to the time difference? Um, for the most part, yes. I the first couple nights I took melatonin to help my body adjust um, to sleeping earlier so I could wake up earlier. So that has really helped me get used to the time zone here in the Philippines. But yeah, I mean it's better that I wake up early na mane eh, so diba. But I get more things done throughout my day. Kahit na quarantine na ako. <laughs> Every minute counts. <laughs> 
True. Gosh, we're almost nearing 100 viewers as we speak right oh, now. Yeah. Grabe. Grabe. There's so I much mean, interest in you. Can I just say, Adam, um, thank you for the, the introduction for me. Pero honestly, ako yung super honored to be interviewed by you for my first official interview for Miss Universe Philippines. You have interviewed so many Miss Universe um, candidates and Miss Universe winners that it's like, Wow, gusto niya akong interview si Gabe. <laughs> Let's do it. Kasi I, <laughs> kasi I really grew up as a pageant fan, and you know, you're mm -hmm. such a, you know, you're already a household name in Philippine pageantry. So probably they miss you so much, and not only that, even Pia admitted in a recent oh, yeah. interview that she's really looking forward to your candidacy oh, in this God, universe. Alam mo, alam mo nung napanood ko, super like. I teared up kasi parang kilala ko si Pia kasi nga before, you know, like we were the reigning queens as she was saying. Pero kasi di, di ba nanalo na siya, ang dami niya accomplishments, like she's so successful. Na, na, I didn't think she still remembered me at all. As in, natouch ng talaga ako na after all these years na siya pa nag-send sa akin ng picture namin nung mga bagets pa kami, super natouch lang ako and she's so supportive talaga na na like wow miss universe miss mo ang nagsasabi na na you know she's supportive of me and my journey so shocks nakaka nakaka touch lang to be honest so pia i don't know if you're even ever gonna watch this pero thank you thank you for the support and you know thank you for remembering me <laughs> Yeah, iba mm -hmm. nagmarka ka talaga sa amin eh. Even if you were only 18 year old, 18 years old then, talagang iba yung di, di naman kita nakita in person. So probably the judges saw something in you that hindi lang mga judges, even the pageant fans who have been following you after right after your your reign, talagang ang lakas daw talaga ng presence mo, ng ng ano mo, ng presence mo sa whether on or off stage talaga. And siguro, that probably explains why almost everyone would agree that you have a very elegant and quintessential Filipina beauty. Wow. No? So aside from that, what else is very Filipina of you? Well, first off, thank you po for the compliment na quintessential Filipina beauty. Ang gandang word yun. Um, everything that I stand for and everything that I do is... It leads back to me being Filipina. No matter where I am in the world, no matter um, what I'm doing, in my heart, I'm Filipina. Because kahit nung dito ako nag-aral for grade one, all the way to me living here all these years, tapos dun ako sa States, I was around the Lajos Tagalog, yung sa family ko, yung sa house namin, pagkain namin, Filipino. I remember pa nga, nung bata kami, we're swimming pag may mga ano, flood. Diba? You're swimming in the flood. Mag, ano, Magkatema ko ng mga mango trees para lang ma-shake ko yung puno para, para mahulog yung mga mangga. Yung mga ganun bagay. Karaoke, ganun. Family, um, family quality time. Lahat ng ganun. Everything about me is, is Filipina. My heart is Filipina talaga. <laughs> Grabe, ang fluent mo pala magsalita ng Tagalog. I've always thought na since you live most of your life there in the States na hindi ka ganun ka conversant sa Filipino language. Wow, I'm just I amazed think, right now. I think Yung parents ko po kasi lagi sinasabi, oh, wag mong kalimutan mag-Tagalog. Ako nga sabi ko, kahit kunyari ang, ang asawa ko pote, ay, dai, I would still teach Tagalog to my kids. Dapat lang. <laughs> Yeah, we should be proud of our language, no? Yes. Nakakatuwa ka. Alam mo, baka nakakala ka. <laughs> Yung personality mo, nararamdaman ko. Parang you're so easy to engage with. Super. Tapos yun nga, as you, so as you, you know, talk about your childhood here in Manila, I saw in an interview of yours before that you love eating Filipino food. I do. <laughs> and now that you're back in here in Manila, what would you want to eat first? Any restaurants you would you want to go back to try Alam it mo, again? Honestly, kung pwede lang, kakainin ko lahat na nandito eh. Kasi iba ang Filipino food sa Philippines. Kumpira sa True. States or sa States. 
Oh, oh, pero since I'm on a diet, kasi nga we're trying to win the crown. Um, <laughs> if I were to choose one place na talaga na miss ko, siguro JT's in Asal. Kasi ang sarap ng chicken nila. Super simple pero ang sarap. Mura pa, de ba? Sulit. Tapos siguro naman yun after ng quarantine, pwede kong kainin kasi chicken naman. <laughs> I think you can you can order naman right now, di ba pwede from Grab or I think so. I think you can. I just I personally haven't done it fully yet, so di pa ako sure. But that's definitely yeah. one of the places that I would go to that I miss. So okay then, ba? How many more days left, ba ba? Before you end uh, your day quarantine? Day four, so six more days. A one almost one week left. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I'm a free woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Apart from your beauty and being a cowboy, I noticed that you are also a very talented woman. For some reason, na alala ko yung mga pagkanta mo noon eh, with a with a wide range of acts. And I heard, you know, you can sing R and B. You can sing like an R and B artist. So I'm so intrigued with this, and I now. Want to hear your singing voice? Can we hear a few lines? Hello. Samples. Live, live. Tama ng samples. Go. Sige na nga. Ah, mama. Let's. Alicia Keys na lang. Kasi Alicia Keys was my winning talent. Nung nung bini bini Pilipinas. Um, let's just. I'm gonna sing another song na lang. Um, from Alicia Keys. Okay. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, it's my God and you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, and some just want everything. But everything means nothing if I ain't got you, yeah. Woo! <laughs> grabe pa! Grabe! Bigyan na ng jacket yan, sabi ni, ng isang commenter dito. Oh, actually, <laughs> nakakuha na ako ng jacket before, 2008, sa Wawawi. <laughs> <laughs> Talaga? Uh, when you went there? <laughs> Kasi I visit every year to see my dad and my family sa Philippines. Kahit nung bata pa kami. And then I went to Wawawi. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the story. Tapos iba dati, meron siyang um, um, kinakantahan, si Willie. Oh, biglang oh, oh. you sabi ko ah nuli ate ako ma <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> so kinanta niya ako tapos binigyan ng jacket <laughs> <laughs> sana pa nag o oh, di ba sana matandaan kanya pa nag cross paths ulit kayo ang dami nagsasabi ngayon dito oh wow sumali ka na rin kaya ng the voice wow ah! <laughs> beautiful inside and out witty talented pa saan ka pa sabi ni Ian Acedillo Oh, Woo, sabi rin ni Brian. Wow na, teka, wow na wow, grabe, sabi ni, ni uh, Mr. Aldeguer. And then, laban, sabi ni Alexander Williams. So grabe, alam mo, they really couldn't get enough of you right now. So, you know, now that you're back here in Manila, you know, fulfilling your, your dream to become a Miss Universe Philippines candidate. So how is it like, that you're away from your parents right now? Because I, I noticed that you are very close to your family and you even send money to support your parents. So how are they doing right now? Well, I miss I miss them both very much. Um, for those who didn't know, my parents have been separated since I was very young. So my mom, she lives in the States, um, in San Francisco, in the Bay Area. And my dad, he lives in Lubang, Occidental Mindoro, which is our province on my dad's side. So I miss them so much because I've gone through so many things growing up and they both have never failed to make sure that my siblings and I were okay. So my way of giving back, kahit pa paano, even though, you know, I'm not making the most money or anything, like not even close, but in any way that I can, if I can send money to my dad, to um, my siblings here in the Philippines, or help my mom with my bills and groceries get on, because she has um, medical conditions, but she's a strong woman. And you know, laban lang si mame, laging ang laban. If you think I'm super outgoing, I, mami, yun lang po si mama. 
chang party eh. <laughs> so, may pinagmanahan ka pala. I guess. And, and tapos, na, napanood ko yung Instagram announcement mo nga, di ba? So, siya talaga yung nag-push talaga sa'yo to push it for one more time. Yeah, yeah. I, kasi, she has always been my number one supporter. Even nung Bini-Bini pa lang, I didn't know what Bini-Bini was. I had to call her. Kasi it was Mao from Mercator that really found me. I went into the office, tried to ask about their modeling um, agency, and he was like, wag ka muna mag-model, um, mag-Bini-Bini Pilipinas ka. Sabi ko, ano ko yun? Sabi niya, yung ano, basta pumunta ka ng training ganyan. So tinuwa ko si Mama, Ma, ano yung Bini-Bini Pilipinas? Oh my God, Anna! Yun yung ano, yung Miss Universe, ano, please lang, anak, try mo lang. Sige na, ganyan, ganyan, for the family. Sabi ko, oh, sige, try ko. Tapos, yun. So, until today, when I found out na parang slowly but surely, everything is sort of aligning in my path for for whatever reason. Parang si mama yung anak, ito na, pagbigyan mo na ako, please lang. This is your time na talaga. So, parang, okay, ma, di ba? Kasi it's always been my dream. Pero si mamang talagang, anak, i-push mo lang yan. Kaya mo yan. So, she's really um, a big factor as to why I was like, this was um, something that the Lord put in my heart. And my mom is just like, you have to do it. Uh, whatever the Lord says, you have to do with it. So, sabi ko, tama naman. <laughs> diba? so, is she coming over to watch you on September, I, if ever? I really hope so. We're gonna try. If if you quarantine gets a little bit um a little more lenient or if we allow in person um for the audience i think we're gonna try to fly her out that was long, diva. i really want her to be there eh? no doubt your mom really raised you to be huh? a good daughter you know that your mom really raised you to be oh. good to be this person that we are looking at right now sobrang bait sobrang sobrang alam mo yun sobrang fun oh. sobrang kikai you were raised with oh. the right set of values so alam mo yun she must have done something right kasi inaikita namin talaga sa you talaga is a combination oh. of everything that you have gone through in life so yeah and even the fans oh. could could really agree with me as well so pero alam mo ha, kahit napaka-beautiful mo ha, I heard and I made the research that you're also a, an adrenaline junkie. You swam. <laughs> you sw- talagang ano ka talaga? Adventure, an- adventure seeker ka, adventurer ka talaga? Adventure seeker oh, ka talaga? Oh. So, I, I just, I really love the thrill. I love the feeling that I get when I get scared. Tapos pag parang na-accomplish ko, parang I ganun lang pala. Like I'm not feeling alive, I guess. Is is the right way to put it. I love I love feeling um different emotions that really like awaken me and awaken my soul. Diba? So when it comes to like horror movies, haunted houses, swimming with um whale sharks, playing with tigers, all of that, it's something that I just I just enjoy. <laughs> Hate oh me God. for it. <laughs> <laughs> Himatayin, malalaglag lahat ng mga puso namin talaga kapag kasama ka namin talaga, for sure. So, ganun pala yung mga, yun, yun, yung mga line of interest mo talaga, bordering talagang exciting, nakakatakot. So, does that say um, something about your personality na talagang you're a go-getter? <laughs> crazy, ganun na joke. Um, I think it just shows that, you know, life is just so short that you really just, have to do things that maybe other people will be like, no, wag mong gawin yan, or nakatakot yan, or si mama actually super against um, yung paglaro sa mga tigers, or anything that I do, si mama super against. But this is probably one of the few times where I don't listen. Kasi <laughs> 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 ko talaga, okay lang naman, tinanong ko naman kung may, kung may namatay na, sabi naman nila wala. <laughs> Ganun. Dami ko pa sa bucket list din. Things I wanna do. <laughs> like what? I wanna know. That's actually my next question. Ah, talaga. Um, because I've gone um, um, shark cage diving before in Hawaii where you're in a cage. They, parang yung movie 47 meters down. Yung biglang naputol yung cage and they ended up in the bottom test with the mga sharks. So I've done that. But what I want to do is do the open cage 
um, shark diving, which they do that at one of my number one destinations that I really want to visit, which is South Africa. So that's something that's on my bucket list for sure. And of course, skydiving. <laughs> grabe, grabe. Kaya nagigets ko na, nagigets ko na why are you, you are pursuing this journey, your Miss Universe Philippines journey. Talagang malakas ang loob mo. Malakas ang loob mo. <laughs> Dapat yung boyfriend mo, hindi faint-hearted talaga, kung na good luck talaga. Talagang... <laughs> <laughs> diba? Supportive so, yun eh, super supportive. So kahit sabihin ko, tatalan ako ng building, sabi niya muna, are you sure? I don't think it's safe. But if you really want to do it, I'm like, okay, bye! Parang gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> supportive yun. <laughs> My God, you're such a fun and engaging pers- person talaga to be with. Wow. Siguro once I go, when I, siguro if I visit in the, if I visit states again in the near future, sige, I'll really, you know, connect with you para sige nga matry ko naman. Oh, tama ka. Kay dito. <laughs> I've gone um I've gone what is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. I was applying here. I think it was in Cebu. And I went upside down. I had them tie my feet. Oh. Up, and then I went upside down. And that was so much fun. We can do it again kung gusto mo. Yeah, pang amazing race talaga ang beauty mo, grabe. Ay. Kahit ano. <laughs> <laughs> grabe. Wow, I, akala ko kasi pa beauty queens talaga, prim and proper ka lang. Alam mo yun, yung mga demure pose na ganyan, <laughs> na sa bahay ka lang with, alam mo na, mga typical set of activities na ginagawa, pero listening to your hobbies, to your interests, wow. Wow, there's ibang-ibang iba sa na talagang wow. It, this explains why your Katrina Timaraanan, very, very, very engaging, very spontaneous, oh, very... You. <laughs> you got just very alive. Wow. Parang you're living your life to the fullest. So no doubt. And you will really even live your life to the best of your abilities now that you're here in Miss Universe Philippines. So, I you know, let's know. talk about your pageant experiences na and, you know, your I career know. highlights. You know, we, we first came to know you when you were one of the favorites back in 2012. To win, Binibining, to win the Miss Universe crown in Binibining Pilipinas, but you eventually won the title of Binibining Pilipinas Tourism. So, as a pageant fan, how did an 18-year-old you become first-time lucky? I don't, I don't think it's really just luck that happened. I'm a firm believer that if it's for you, it's for you. So there was a little bit of luck that night. But as an 18-year-old, I was so new to the game. And I really worked my butt off for it. And actually, and my mom knows this because she was there with me the whole time throughout preparation. Mm-hmm. There was a time where I was going to back out. Na. It was the middle of the pageant. And parang hindi ko na nakaya. Kasi diba, 18 years old, isa sabak sa, sa pageant who has... You know, like she doesn't really know anything about it. She doesn't really have a lot of life experiences. Tapos makalaban ko. I remember we have a lawyer, si Justin. We have doctors. We have MJ who are oh, si MJ. Um, so parang and then it wasn't that though. It was kasi nakakapagod. It was so draining. Um, with my mental health and just physically and emotionally that sabi ko ma, parang, parang hindi ko na kaya. And then it wasn't until we had to do like this episode for ABS yata and then we had to talk about um like a little bit of our childhood which I have never done ever in my life because before I used to be parang ashamed of things that I've gone through and when I shared a little bit of it I was so surprised to see all of the support and people telling me, oh my God, you're so inspiring and you motivated me. But um, bigla na lang ako na, huh? And then that's when I realized why women join pageants. Now, maybe some join for the glitz, the glam and all of that, which, you know, I respect them for that. But I really saw the other side of why women join pageants. Because it made me say, ma, joke lang, ano, I'm gonna compete pa rin. Kasi tinan mo yung mga messages o, oh, nakakatawa, di ba? Parang, in a way, sa isip ko, hindi mo ako hero, pero in a way, parang, I'm fighting for them. Parang gano'n, na parang, sige na nga, tuloy na natin, di ba? 
like super they were accepting of things that I've been through. Yun talagang na appreciate ko. Oh, that's nice. To and then she's been lalaki for... din ako that night. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to hear for sure. You know, you really had a good time during your stint. Then, so I want to ask this: Do you have any memorable experiences with with your with your uh, with your pageant journey, or even hanging out with your fellow queens like Janine and Nicole Schmitz? Oh my gosh, I love those girls. And dami nami memories. Sobrang dami nami memories. Um, anytime that we would go out of town or anywhere we would travel around the Philippines, um, all of the laughs, the tears, and hindi lang yun. Yung pinaka favorite ko mga memories with the girls. But si Elaine and si Ali, super close kami. Till this day, we still talk. Um, my favorite memories is when we don't have events, when we're not doing photo shoots, when we're not working, and pupunta kami sa bahay ni Nicole sa kanda ni Nicole or sa bahay ni ni um ni Ali and then we would just cook well not me at the time we pa ako nagluto so they would cook and then we would eat watch scary movies um drink wine and just really relax and really be ourselves yun yung pinaka favorite ko and actually um I was just talking to Nicole today her and I have stayed close throughout the years um we talk so much. We're still very, very close. I know everything about her life. She knows everything about mine. And with Janine, the last time I saw her, she visited San Francisco. We did an escape room. Favorite ni Janine yun eh, yung mga escape room. Yun din. Adrenaline din yun eh. Adrenaline junkie din yun eh. Um, we did an escape room. And syempre naman, we did well. But oh, oh namiss ko talaga mga girls. Ang dami na yung mga memories talaga. If I could go back and relive it, I totally would. So what do you think are they thinking right now? Kasi yung baby sister nila nun eh. Wow, full grown woman na. Nine I years know. after. I diba? Know. So, so how do you think they must be feeling na, wow, she's really following her footsteps. What have well, they been Nicole, telling you? Sorry. See, Nicole, um, Nicole Schmidt, she is super, super supportive. As in, I was telling her I appreciate any advices that she has because she knows me so well. She competed in a major pageant as international and she gave me such amazing advice that I really needed to hear today. Today, actually, today. Yes. And it's funny that we're talking about her now because her and I just, anytime we talk, it's such a heart to heart talk with her and about life and our goals and ganon. So, um, Yun, you know, they're so supportive. Janine, I know she's so busy. I haven't gotten a chance to talk to her yet. See, si Ali is so supportive. Alam mo naman yun. Tawag ko sa kanya before was my, um, my pandesal bolilet. Kasi, di ba? She was like, kasi she was smaller. Ang cute-cute niya. Ang cute ng face niya. So, she was my pandesal bolilet. And then, si, si Elaine naman, super, we were so close. Kahit nung na-visit siya ng States, we would always hang out. Anytime I hang out with that girl, it's just the same vibes. She's just so lighthearted all the time. And she, her view on life is just so beautiful. And she's also very supportive. She messaged me na parang, don't worry, I'm here for you. Full support ako. Whatever you need. Ganyan, ganyan. And even the other girls from um, Bini Bini, um in the previous years in 2012. And all of my super sisters, ang supportive as in Grabe, grabe talaga. I really didn't expect it. Alam mo, you seem to have a lot of fond memories during your time in Binibini, Pilipinas. Na parang lahat yun, natabunan. Lahat nung yung, yung sayang na pagkakataon for you to have represented us in an international pageant. I wonder how did that feel for you? Was it a big deal for you to have not competed in an international pageant back then? Oh, are you talking about when I was not able to compete for Mr. Yes. and Sam? Yes. Honestly, I was a little bit sad at first, diba? Sino naman hindi? Because I was training, we all were training for our respective pageants during that year. So a little part of me was a little sad that I wasn't going to get to represent our country and have the Philippine sash over me. But also at that same time, I remember... It was the time that we were about to send Janine off to Miss Universe. So 
I was just so focused on, okay, hindi na ako magkakumpit. Out of the way. Janine, what do you need? We're all here for you. Let's support her. She's about to leave. Anything she needs, nandito tayo. So, yung mindset ko, biglang, um, who's next? Okay, Janine. What can we uh, do? Uh, Which was Janine. And di ba, na first round of si Attach. Which I uh, think she should have won. But yun. So, I was sad at first, but then, I've always been that way. I've been, I've always been resilient. Na parang, okay, well, we can't do anything about it. Janine naman. Okay, girl, what do you need? You know, parang ganun. Mm-hmm. You know, at 18 years old, where are, where did you get that wisdom and maturity to accept things as they went on? Wow. I think it was my childhood, talaga. It sort of forced me to have to mature at an early age. And it's something that I'm grateful for. Mm-mm. That's nice. That's nice. Iba, iba, iba yung thinking mo. Kung iba siguro nun, parang, hmm, magmamakto na, hmm? sayang, bakit hindi ako nakapag-compete? So parang ikaw, parang no, no, siguro parang probably it's not yet meant to be. So that's why it did that happen. So instead of sulking, I'll just channel my energy to my fellow sister who's competing in a little while. Yeah. Wow. And that now that, that's nice. Alam mo, feeling ko, ginood karma ka. Kasi nung 2018, when it was your time to compete in an international pageant, you were appointed to compete in Miss Supranational and eventually you finished first runner up. What was the experience like? Oh my God, Supranational, it was one of the, the best moments of my life. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had, if I'm being completely honest. I didn't think I would have that much fun with so many girls from all countries all over the world. Not many people can say that, you know, and forming friendships and deeper bonds. It really changed um, certain things of how I viewed life, just hearing their stories and what they've been through or how their country is or their culture or even just how they joke around is so different from I jo- from how I joke around. The little things like that, I really appreciate it. I'm For me, it was just so much fun. And... I got to visit Poland and really explore its beautiful country. It was never on my bucket list. But now that I've been there, I just want to tell you all, go to Poland. Because it's so big, but they're very warm. They're so kind-hearted there. And Poland, I would go back again. Ang ganda ng mga sites nila and um, their people and the weather and just everything else, the architecture there. It's beautiful. So for me, Supra was was something that I will forever treasure talaga. Uh, no doubt. Feeling ko one of the reasons why you're treasuring that um, that stint, that competition is from what I remember, you and Jessa were so close. I remember I were so close during the competition. You know, I was thinking, how is, how is an outspoken girl like Katrina Dimaranan be friends with someone like Jessa who is very quiet and reserved. What an interesting dynamic. <laughs> That's funny you say that because a lot of people that I meet in my life who are very, um, you know, more timid or a little bit more shy or more um, to themselves. When I meet them, eventually they always tell me like, you know, I've never, I never really um, open up like this or I never do these things and you really bring it out of me. And I love that I'm able to do that. I think for some reason, I don't know why I resonate well also with people who are the opposite. I'm sure the opposite attract. But with Jessa, oh my gosh, she is just so queenly and so regal that even if I tried, I couldn't be as as classy as her, you know what I mean? Like natural sa kanya to be so um just feminine and so delicate talaga. And I loved it. But then at the same time, every time na magkasama kami, I would be joking around, ang ingay-ingay ko, tawa lang siya ng tawa, ganun. So, you know, I really appreciate her friendship. And isa pa siya who is just so supportive. She actually just messaged me like, on the other day, na parang, you know, I'm so proud of you for doing this. Congratulations. I'm here for you. Support na kita. To hear that coming from another super sister and Filipino sister and Filipina sister. It's like, 
oh my god how did it get so lucky you know what i mean so yeah i love jessa and one day i'm gonna have a family like her but after na ng crown <laughs> oh nasa talaga after the crown <laughs> talaga ina naman na pero fast mo na talaga to high heavens that you will really get the crown <laughs> Yeah. It's nice, no? Alam mo, ako, ah, nung pinapanag ko kayo sa Supra talaga, parang talagang na-threaten, na-shocka talaga ako para kay Jessa. Dahil ang lakas-lakas talaga ng dating mo. Talagang, yung uh-huh. ibang-iba talaga yung glow mo nung, nung time na yun na parang, sabi ko, shocks. Parang, parang sabi ko, mm. pero iba eh, iba talaga. So this is the reason why people are not taking you lightly here in Miss Universe Philippines competition because of what they had seen from you in Miss Supranational. So I want to ask this, does competing in Miss Supranational give you an edge or more confidence now that you are competing in Miss Universe Philippines? Because let's face it, diba? mm-hmm. there are so many crossovers mm-hmm. who joined Miss Universe and did so well. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't say that competing with Supernational gives me an edge. I wouldn't use the word edge because it's right now, it's sort of a fair game. Um, but what I did gain from that, that is to my personal advantage is um, not the edge part, but the confidence part. Because for me, everything that I do in life, I try to learn something from it. I try to pull lessons from it that I can apply to future situations or the next part of my life. So everything I learned in Supra, I feel, I guess it's the confidence in me that I got because I feel more confident in myself knowing that I learned something from it and I'm able to apply it um, here, whether it be Miss Universe Philippines or just in um, my life after Miss Supranational. So not the edge, but just the confidence within myself, I would say, yeah. It, it's nice talaga na, alam mo yon. whatever you do right now on social media, it's really resonating well with the audience, with your fans, even the harshest Aww. critics in pageantry. Ito nga eh, when I uploaded your uh, Facebook live chat poster, a lot of people were commenting, you know, for some re- reason, she's like the Asian and Filipina version of Andrea Mesa. That's oh, one wow. comment that really struck me. So when you get compliments like that, comments like that how do you feel i feel um makes me blush even though maybe i'm too tan to see the blush but i get really giddy i get giddy inside because like i said i came in here wanting to just do my best in hopes of representing the philippines i didn't expect to have such a big fan base so for me Thank you talaga sa mga nagsasupport. All the the fan pages, ang galing, ang gagaling nila sa mga ed, the video edits, the photos, yung mga hashtags, just little things like that. It takes a lot of effort to do that. So I super appreciate that they're putting that effort onto me and they're believing in me. And it makes me feel really good that I have a great um Team, you know, and they're they're right there behind me and they're right there next to me. So yon. Nakakatuwa. Oh, you bro- <laughs> True, true, di ba? <laughs> and siguro part of the reason but natutuwa rin kami is because you know what? We see it as a Filipino and Asian, we really admire the representation that you bring to the table. So, how do you feel about this inclusivity? and diversity happening in pageantry right now? Do you mean with the Asian community? Yeah, kasi parang pasok sa mga beauty mo eh. Diba, let's say, diba, you represented USA. Pero, you know, you're, you're Filipina. So, how do you feel? Do you think your candidacy is coming in such a perfect time? Knowing that these like pageants Lego. have been empowering inclusivity and diversity for all of us to, you know, digest it talaga. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say I understand that there are so many but, um, relevant social issues when it comes to our people and Asian community. And I don't think that the Asian inclusivity in pageantry or in any field is because they're trying to be but, um, politically correct or anything like that. I think it's because of who we are and 
what we have to bring to the table and what we can show the world and show people. I think that it's just now being recognized and maybe we have just adapted and we've been better people or, you know, we're, we're constantly learning and trying to be better. So I don't think it's anything that has to do with being politically correct. And that's why we're being included in, in pageantry. I think it's because of who we are. We're amazing. We're beautiful. And we have so much to offer. And and I appreciate that now it's being noticed. And that's what I want it to be, um, the reason of why we're being way more included and, and being a part of, of um, all of these pageantry, pageantry um um, outlets, you know what I mean? Yeah. So do you think, you know, all these um, inclusivity and diversity talk in the pageant mainstream is a step towards the right direction in terms of how pageants are evolving right now? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Because the reason why I say that I don't think it's politically, politically correct and it's because of um, who we are as people our intelligence, our experiences, our voice, is because from there, we're able to use our voice on these platforms, like beauty pageants, to raise awareness, to talk about issues that matter to us, to talk about problems that we want to help alleviate. So as we know, pageants are constantly evolving into what the meaning of beauty pageants are. And with this, I think it, it's a great time especially because of the movements that are going on with our Asian community. I think it is the perfect time for us to bloom. It's the perfect time for us to really speak up and speak out and not and not hold back. It's time. It's nice, no? It's really yeah. nice. Na parang mm -hmm. You get to amplify your voices through this massive platform, MUP and MU uh has or have right now so mm -hmm. what do you make out of it na talagang, do you think talagang this is certainly in for the long haul or do you think this is just going to be a trend that will last for a certain time i don't think it's going to be a trend because like i was saying the beauty pageant world is constantly evolving we're constantly finding women who want more out of life more out of the world so no i think this is going to be even more of a greater impact than it already is now even though some may disagree with that just based off what the current um beauty queen winners or miss universe winners have been doing during their reign and even afterwards that already proves it that if it wasn't for these beauty pageants or these platforms we would they wouldn't be where they are now and the the social impact that they have on people today would not exist if it weren't for beauty pageants we have to admit that so i don't think it's going to be a trend not at all maybe trends in makeup or something but as far as the, the true essence of it um wholeheartedly i think that it's just going to keep evolving. It's just going to be more useful in even other outlets. Mm. True. And look at you right now. You're a perfect representation of everything what the pageant has been evolving for. Diversity, inclusivity, oh. to the point that, you know, you, know, you speak well. Na talagang they, you are a perfect representation of what the organization is looking. Not oh, just you. girls who are truly beautiful, but also someone who could really you know, talk and really espouse the values and ideals of these pageant organizations. So oh. now that you are competing again, what my my next question is, what is one lesson that you have learned from your previous pageant experience that you are now bringing to MUP? Hmm. I think it would have to be just to slow it down and really take in the moments, really take in even just the small moments that happen. Because for me, when I did Beanie Beanie and when I competed in Miss Supra, I was always just about, um, go, go, go. What's next? I'm so excited. Let's do this. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, da, 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 you know, I was so fast paced because it was just so much fun. But I think what I've learned from it, actually what I know I've learned from it that I'm really trying to apply, especially in Miss Universe Philippines, is really take in 
every moment, breathe it in, enjoy it, and and slow down a little bit, you know, like Katrina, um, relax ka lang, relax. you know, you can, oh, you can have Chill. fun, just relax, take it all in, so it would have to be that. Mm-hmm. For sure. <laughs> nice, no? For, yun. Kasi nakakapagod din, eh. Yung parang, ano, yung parang habol ka ng habol. Yung parang kinakarir mo. Di ba? From, <laughs> from, from yeah. activity one to activity yeah. to the, fi- the final yeah. night. So, in, yeah. So, that's nice. And I think and that kind of formula works. not focus either. You know what I mean? Yun nga, eh. Pero it also, ito nga, eh. Relax, chill. Pero, you know, nag- it worked well for a lot of beauty queens. Like, Pia, MJ, na kung kaya Samantha Bernardo at pinaka-latest na parang yung pag hindi na talaga nila hinahabol talaga na kinakarir, parang doon na lang lumalapit yung tadhana na sige na nga, ito na, ito na yung corona. Sige na, sige na, my hashtags. Oh, guys, the fans, I remember that. So, now that you are, now, ito na, nandito na tayo sa Miss Universe Philippines journey mo. And, Now that you are officially announced as one of the 100 contestants and with your headshot currently uploaded right now and is you know being talked about Hi. and any include yeah. kanila sa mga top oh nga sino ba to the who yeah. <laughs> sa mga top 10 list nila top 10 best headshots so what's your current mindset as you look at this photo of you right oh now. Gosh. Nakaka-upload ka ng MUP. Well, you know, to be honest, I haven't even read any of the comments um, or anything like that. So so just hearing this from you right now is, is a bit of a shock. Um, it's a bit of a shock, though. Um, my mindset right now is is still the same in, in a sense of I'm very laser-focused. I'm very much aiming for the crown and, you know, and, and training and prepping for it. And when it comes to the headshot, I was so excited for you guys to see that. I was beyond excited because there was a story to it. And and yes, I didn't just want to pose. We could just post the headshot, you know what I mean? And that's beautiful. But I was like, this is my last year. I want the jury to get to know me on on another level compared to when I was um, competing in Bini Bini or in Miss Supra. And why not share a little bit of who I am, whether it's just in my caption, you know, or doing interviews like this. Um, so for me, my mindset is I'm focused. I am, this is my last chance, and I'm really just aiming to be able to represent the Philippines on a global stage. How does it feel na, kasi diba, I read your caption eh, ang ganda, the papaya girl. <laughs> ang ganda <laughs> ng pagkasulat mo. Kasi, you know, alam mo naman dito sa Pilipinas, diba, ang beauty standard, paputian, usong-uso yung mga gluta. Pero ikaw, through your, in your, in your latest caption, of your headshot. Teka nga, where is it nga? I'm trying to look at it. Ang ganda ng pagkasabi mo na parang that made me repost your photo right away. I na think sabi mo, not, not only is papaya delicious and a Philippine delicacy, but for me, this is my take on beauty standards. I love that Filipinos come in all shapes and sizes. Growing up, I felt that there was not much enough appreciation for being morena or dark skin. So, you know, when you talk about this, that parang wow, talagang you are starting to make us feel that we should love our skin even more. Kung ano man yung binigay sa atin yes. ng Diyos. Diba? Yes. So, so how do you so, feel about it? I, I didn't know how people were gonna feel. Because for me, yun nga, it was a bit of a struggle when I was younger and growing up and, and being seen as like parang hindi ako maganda or um i'm not good enough you know what i mean and i see all these women and men who are like so light skin and and all of that but as i got older and i think this is the difference between katrina and Binibini versus katrina now you learn to really appreciate who you are as a person and you understand that you know like they say beauty is in the eye of the boulder 
I say you are the beholder. And I love all shades of Filipinos. I love, I love you, um, the ones who are super light skin, the ones who are just golden, and of course, the one who are morena. And, you know, even our ancestors, normally, going centuries back, they were a lot darker. Is that even if you're morena or mestiza or you're somewhere in between, be proud of it. That's it. In long. <laughs> in. So as we go along. So as you talk about your your uh, headshot, na, which, you know, Sorry which you. talks about loving your own skin. I think it's a, I think that's very nice of you to highlight that as part as your theme for your headshot. So yeah, it's really resonating well with a lot of your fans and even critics. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to read them. Yeah, so as you talk oh, more yeah. about it, so, <laughs> someone is asking here, what is your advocacy for Miss Universe Philippines? Uh, my advocacy is homelessness. Can, can you share a, a little more about it? Like, um, pan, which yeah. part of homelessness are you advocating? Because it's something that I've experienced growing up, and I think a lot of um, people know that already. So I know how it feels like to not have a roof over your head. I know how it feels to maybe not know when your next meal is going to be or, or what your next meal is going to be. And in the U.S. and here in the Philippines, homelessness is just so prevalent and little is being done about it. So in any way that I can, I would love to even help alleviate homelessness. It's not an overnight solve. It's not a silver bullet. It has to come in steps and it has to come in a triad, which I feel very, very um, confident in. So... We can definitely talk more about that also. I don't even know if you're hearing this. <laughs> I, I can't. We do. But, we can um, still hear you. We can still hear you. No worries. Ah, okay. Yay. Okay. So, basta naririnig nyo ako. Okay, that's good. That's good. But, um, yes, it's just something that, you know, even um, before pa, I, I try to learn more about it to see what I can do, whether it be through volunteering or contacting organizations to see how I can help. And it was before I was even like being a beauty queen or anything like that. So it's definitely something that I, I strongly resonate with because I dealt with it myself. And I know people who have gone through the same thing. So if there's anything that I can do in the organizations here in the Philippines that um, can help alleviate Manlang, it's something that I would love, love to be a part of. Oh, thank you for sharing that. And I can't wait for you to talk more about it as you go on with your Miss Universe Philippines mm -hmm. journey. So, eto na nga, eto na nga, as we, ne near, as we near the end of this interview, no doubt, ever since we started this interview, a lot of pageant Hello. fans talaga are saying that, yeah, a lot of pageant fans are saying that we should crown a girl who is ready and with an incredible pageant experience. And they believe that you are the right girl for the job. How do you feel about it? <laughs> I know that I have a lot of pageant experience and I can confidently say that. But at this point in the game, it's a fair game for everyone. Everyone has an equal chance. All the women are beautiful. Ev beautiful. Everyone has so much to offer for this year's Miss Universe Philippines. But for me, I am just really aiming to, to represent us. I am just really wanting to finally make my dream come true of wearing a Philippine sash and hopefully winning us the fifth Miss Universe crown. <laughs> and no doubt, no doubt. Nararamdaman ko yon, cause let's, Look, look at you right now. You have a great body. You have a very beautiful face. Great communication skills. And with a killer pasarela, a front runner for this year's edition of Miss Universe Philippines. 
And sa totoo lang ha, eto binabasa ko yung mga collective sentiment ng mga fans natin na, 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 na nakikinig sa atin ngayon. And they are all saying that you could even be sent to Israel tomorrow and you will still perform and be ready talaga. So, do you feel any sort of pressure um, right now? Um, I think obviously, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm here to win. I am here to be given a chance and to show that I am worthy of winning the Miss Universe Philippines title. So I'm more focused on that more than there is pressure. And as you know, pressure is for me at least, pressure helps. It helps me um, focus a lot more. Diba? And especially when you know what you're fighting for, it doesn't become stress. Eh? It's more passion, if anything. So a little bit of pressure, but all in all, I'm excited. I'm very focused and I really hope that everything works out. <laughs> yeah. So there's a question here from Ian Acedillo. He says, how do you feel that the competition will be I'm held sorry? in Israel? How, how do you feel that the competition will be held in Israel this year? I was honestly surprised. I was... I really didn't expect Israel, um, but I think it's awesome because of the fact that there's so much history to it, and and you know that's where the Lord was. The Bible was there in Israel, so I know they have a lot of beautiful places that we can visit, beautiful history that we can learn and immerse ourselves in, and I trust Miss Universe in choosing the perfect venue and the perfect host for this year's Miss Universe pageant. So I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. So, you know, if I win, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah, if you win. So, yeah. So, no doubt, as early as now, they really want you to win. And sobrang lakas ng popularity mo talaga sa social media right now. So I wonder, how are you taking this? Do you think your popularity on social media will boost your campaign? I wouldn't think it would boost my campaign. I've never really looked at it um, in that way. For me, all of this pageant love, that's all it is. It's love. They they are passionate in supporting their candidates. And, and I'm just grateful. I don't know how many times I will say that. And I can say that over and over again. And lagi kong sinasabi sa, sa we have like a small group chat with, um, you know, mga, mga fans. And I always say, Alam niyo mga best, kung manalo tayo, free buko juice for everyone. Bakit <laughs> <laughs> buko juice? Wala <laughs> <laughs> na, sarap ng buko, bakit hindi? <laughs> nah, kaya ako rin, love ko rin ang, Filipi- ang buko juice, sobra. Mm-hmm. Pampalabas ng ihi. So, yeah. Tsaka, you know what? No doubt talaga. Malakas talaga. Malakas talaga laban mo. So, Alam mo yun, as we go through your Miss Universe Philippines journey, the theme for this year's edition is inspire you. Inspire you. My question is, who has inspired you the most in life and why? I heard that. Anyone that I meet and anything that I do, I always try to find some sort of inspiration from it. But when you ask me that question, the first person that popped into my mind is my Lola. And rest in peace po, Lola, kasi she's not here anymore. And she has always been the rock in our family, even before pa, when I was younger. She is just such a go-getter. She's so strong. She's such a fashionista. And si Lola ko, super nakakatawa. She's one of the most wittiest person I know. Yung Lola ko. So, if there was one person, since you asked one person who inspires me the most, it's definitely my Lola. Definitely. <laughs> no doubt. So can I can I engage you with some fast talk questions before I end this interview? Yes, of course. 
All right. So this will okay. off the top of your head lang, mabilis lang to before we end para just to for us to get to know you better because you really have a fun and amazing personality. So game before your Wi-Fi is still strong. So <laughs> number one, would you like to live a life of passion or peace? Ah, definitely passion because when you do something that you're very passionate about, that in itself brings you peace. So passion. Ang galing mo, ang galing mo sumagot, ah. Who's your favorite Miss Universe winner? Hi, <laughs> hands down, Miss Pia Wurzbach. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh nga naman. Okay, since you, you have a fun, amazing personality, where is your happy place? My happy place is with my family. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to meet them. If they'll be coming over for your, for your We're pageant. <laughs> what do you think the world needs right now? I said what the world needs right now is kindness and an open heart. Because there's so many things that are going on around us with the pandemic and even within the pandemic that right now we just need to be more kind to ourselves and kind to others and um, just have an open heart. Mm -mm. True. So since you're an adrenaline junkie type of person, now I'm curious to ask, what's something that you are so afraid of? The thing that scares me is losing my loved ones. Mm, I can relate. Yeah. Okay. So dating rule, every girl should live by. <laughs> um, I always tell all my girlfriends this. Know your worth. Because, honey, you are a diamond in the rough. <laughs> Perfect advice. And for sure, it could also be relate, could be applicable to any girl joining pageants, right? A diamond no. in the rough. <laughs> oh, there you go. What is the song of your life right now? The song of my life right now would be, um, I don't know the title, but it's the one that's like, This is my fight song. Da, 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 da. That one, that one. Yun. <laughs> fight song, I think that's what it's Yeah, uh -oh. It's super so, nakaka-inspire. <laughs> nakaka-inspire talaga. Nakas maka, ano talaga ng, jolt top ng senses mo na talaga. I can do it, I can do it. If past lives were real, what was yours? If past lives were real, what was mine? Well, all are animals, so I'm going to choose an animal. I would be a tiger because tigers are so fierce and they're go-getters and they're strong. But at the same time, they do everything in their power to take care of their family. So I, my past uh, life would be a tiger. I am. <laughs> all right. There you go. There you go, Kat. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Oh I really God. had so much fun with you. So for my last two questions, can you give a message to all your followers and supporters who are watching you, who have been rooting for you to win Miss Universe oh Philippines? Gosh. I would love to first and foremost thank you to my entire family here in the Philippines and in the U.S. and all over the world for really pushing and have always been supporting any dream that I've ever had. Thank you to my O Skin family, Sila Miss O. Um, they're so supportive, talaga. Thank you to all of my friends and my beauty queen sisters that are so supportive of me in this new journey that I'm in, and of course. Thank you to the fans, to mga best, lahat kayo dyan, maraming salamat. Uh, super natutuwa ako sa mga edits ninyo, ang galing nyo talaga. And laban lang mga best, that's all I have to say. I love you guys. I genuinely love you guys so much. <laughs> May bago ka ng hashtag ngayon, no? Pinapromote na nila, Team Boko Juice. You. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lahat sila. Team Puko Diyos. Ano na? Oh, Team Puko Diyos. Laban. <laughs> so, last question. Last question. Fill in the blank. Or complete the sentence. I am Katarina Dimaranan. Oh, sorry. I am Katrina Dimaranan. And I am blank. I am Katrina Demaranan, and I aim to bring us the fifth Miss Universe crown back to the Philippines. <laughs> Love the confidence! Woo! The, the fifth Miss Universe crown for the Philippines. Grabe! You are really oozing with so much confidence. Kaya ba? Kaya ba? Kaya ba? With five more months to go, kaya ba? Bye, bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pa, kaya na lang sila. Go! Yes! Diretso ka na raw sa Israel. <laughs> Sige, hindi na ako mag-unpack dito sa, sa quarantine hotel. Diretso na joke. Char, char. <laughs> Claiming agad ang fifth crown, he said. Thank you so much. It's This was so so fun, and and thank you, talaga, for even inviting me onto your show. It means the world to me, and I I told you this even through messages. It means the world to me. So thank you, really. Thank you. I can't wait to meet you in person. <laughs> me too. Me too. I hope when everything is good, we can finally meet each other. But for now, masaya na ako na I was able to interact with you virtually. So guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katrina, talaga, for granting me your time and effort in doing this interview. Ikaw ang buena, mano, opening salvo ko for my Miss Universe Philippines live chat series. And thank you for making it so much worth thank the you. wait. I'm so honored. Thank you. So on that note, I had a blast getting to know you talaga tonight. And stay safe and hydrated. A lot of your fans talaga are really commenting pa rin and until now na talagang think wow talaga it means the universe to you kayang kaya raw mo talaga law of attraction she is the miss universe 2021 tinapos na ni Katrina Katrina ang laban sabi ni Kyle Katrina road to Israel na talaga sabi ni Leoni Rivera I see you na yan hi ma Leonito Rivera, si Mami Guyan. Hi, Pita! Sorry! Sorry! It's 5 a.m. Pita, sorry! Ito nag-alarm pa ng 5 a.m. para lang mapanood. Thank you for waking up early, Tita. Thank you so much. I hope to meet you in person. Oh, wait. Before we end this, can you... Wait, ma, na-shout out ka ni Adam. Malaking bagay yan, ma. <laughs> Ganun ba yun? No. <laughs> no, I just love what I do. So, before we end, can you uh can you invite all your followers to vote for you right now in the ongoing Miss Universe headshot challenge for you to get to the top 75? I just want to say again a big thank you and please you guys don't forget to vote for me in the first challenge para makapasok po tayo ng top 75. So don't forget to vote. Get download the Miss Universe Philippines app and click on my headshot, the papaya headshot, and please vote for me. Ayan, thank you. Ah, no doubt. Ikaw talaga, grabe. Parang I'm stopping short muna. Pero grabe, you are really one of the girls to look out for in this year's competition. Thank you for making it so much the worth as I've said. So thank you, thank you so much. God bless you, Katrina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for for thank you for this. No words. Stay safe and hydrated. Virtual hugs and kisses all the way from my office here in Cubao. <laughs> Okay. Have a good night, Adam. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you again. You guys are the best. And see you soon, hopefully. Good luck.